here we have a very super useful theorem. And it's a theorem on inverses as it relates to logarithms and exponentials, because these guys are inverses of each other. And here's what this says. It says if you do log base a, and inside you have another base a, then you're going to be left with just the power. Or if you're dealing with an exponential with base a, where the power is log base a, you're going to get just that x value that's inside. And this leads to some very, very quick problems that we can do. We don't really have to think so much. We just kind of do them. Um, for example, if I have log base 43 of 43 to the 2.5, I don't need to worry about what's 43 to the 2.5. I pay attention to the fact that my base of the log is 43. The base of the exponential inside is also 43. So using this theorem on inverses, my answer is just 2.5. And there's really no work to be done there. You just pay attention to the fact that you have this particular setup. If I take 7 raised to log base 7 of 875. You have a base of 7 for your exponential and in, in its power it has log base 7. So that matches up with this. If the bases are the same you're just left with the expression inside the logarithm. So here the answer is 875. I mean sure you could check with your calculator, but it's going to be a lot of work just to type that expression in. Again, the theorem on inverses is super nice and super easy. If I do log base 98 of 98, well, your base of the log is 98, and inside the log you also have 98. So the answer should just be the power, but what's the power? Well, don't forget, this is understood to be to the first power. We, we've seen this stuff before, right? If the bases are the same, you know, what power of 98 gives you 98? The answer is just 1. Right? And sometimes these expressions get really mean and nasty. If I take the square root of 2, and I raise this to log, base square root of 2 of 8.03. So gross. Can't even stand it, right? Well, check this out. The base here is the square root of 2. The base of the log in its power is also the square root of 2. So based on the theorem of inverses, my answer should just be the expression inside here. So 8.03. And you got it. Now, we saw stuff like this in the last video, where if I did the natural log of e to the 5192nd power, like that, we know that this means log base e, that's what natural log means, right? So, natural log base e, or excuse me, log base e of e to the 5192. Since these guys have the same base, your answer is just that power, 5192. Nice and simple as long as you pay attention.